Hello everyone, this is Saiba again, and I want to do a tutorial on how to create an offset or bleed, or some people say, how do you shadow different names that you make in your des Cricut Design Space. Now, I know how to do it without fail in the old Design Space software, so this is actually the first time I've actually done it in the new Cricut Design Space. So, it's a new, be it's a new technique for me as well. So, the first thing I would do is I will type the name that I would like. Then I would choose the font. Let's see, I want to choose a, a block letter font. And if the tutorial is not too long, then I do it with another font. Okay, what I usually do is, is I'll supersize it because I want to decrease my letter spacing to about that. Okay, great. So I have that. And now the next thing I want to do is duplicate. So once I duplicate, the one that I want on top, I'm going to change it to a different color, especially for demonstration purposes. Let's change it to that purple. Yeah, that purple is pretty. Okay, and then for your shadow, which we're going to leave black, we're going to first, you see it has a cut symbol here. We don't want that one as a cut. We want it as a print. So you just click that and change it to print, and then you'll see it's print here, and then you see the original name will be in cut. Okay, so now I want to leave that black. Then I click make it. And it's going to show you two different mats. This is your print mat of the shadow, and this is the actual mat of the cut. So we're going to go to the print mat, and we're going to click continue. When we get here, it's going to, it's supposed to show you the edit. No, that's not it. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Click Send to Printer. And here's the, the very important step. You're going to see this Bleed button. So you click that, it's going to be normal. But if you click Bleed, then it's going to bleed out like this. I'm not sure if it's the same technique with the Windows um, laptop, but with your MacBook, if you, that's, that's what I'm working from, I can right-click and save this image. And I'm going to save it as Nicole, which is what, what, what it is and academic which is the font and then bleed or either shadow you know whichever one you can actually name it so that you can remember how you saved it and I saved it on my desktop so pay attention to where you saved it so you don't have to go running hunting for it okay so once we've done that I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this because we're not going to actually do a cut at this moment and then I'm gonna go ahead and delete this because what we're going to do is we're going to upload Okay, we go here, and I saved it as Nicole pop-up. Okay, so after we upload it, you select Simple, go to Continue, and what I want to do in the Edit part is click on this eraser, and I want to erase this frame from around Nicole. So just take your time, and remember in the last few videos, I told you you want to erase a little, stop, erase a little, stop. So that you don't erase the whole thing and then mess up and then have to start all over again. So I decrease the size of my eraser. Start, stop. There. So now I have my bleed. I continue. I don't want to save it as this. I actually want to save it as that. And it says Nicole Academic Shadow. That's fine. I'll leave it as that. And I want to upload. Okay. I'm going to bring this one up to the front by clicking on it and going to arrange. Move forward. And then I'm going to make this bigger. Let me move this out of the way. So this is your bleed, which is your shadow, your offset. You know, a lot of us call it different things. But I usually just, I call it whatever comes out first, whether it's the bleed, the offset, or the shadow. But then, after that, you size it to how you want it, and boom! That is how you create your shadow, your offset, or your bleed for the name or word that you choose. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to do it one more time because this video so far is just four minutes. I try to keep it at a minimum. So I want to use a curly font. I'm going to use my daughter's name. Her name is Jada. And the curly font I'm going to use is called Adrena. I love this font. love it so much. 
absolutely love it. Now, I'll give you a little nugget. Um, some people actually cut their lettering like this. But I um, have a personal preference of putting what I call my curlies together. So what I do is I'll decrease the letter spacing until they're touching. And you see now the A and the Y are touching. And this is not touching close enough for my um, preference. So what I would do is I would duplicate it. Take off the D A or the J A Y D. And then here I'm going to take off the A H. Okay? So I can move the A as close as I want. And even if I want to move the H a little closer, I can actually do that. Okay? And now you see that I have this right here, which is just the with two parts to it, the J A Y D and the second part which is the AH. What I would do is I would select all and weld them together. That way it's no longer two parts, it's one. Okay, so now I have my font, I have my name that I chose, um, and it's in Adrena script. I'll put that under the con um, in the description so you guys can know which fonts I'm using. So after that I'm going to duplicate it again. And my daughter's favorite color is this teal. Okay, and so I changed the color of the one that I, the name that I want cut. The black is going to be my shadow offset or my bleed. So I go ahead and change that from cut, you remember, change it to print. Okay, so it's changed to print. We go to make it. And there we have it here. So we're going to start with this font, I'm sorry, this mat. And we're going to continue. Then we're going to send it to the printer. Okay. Make sure that your bleed option is on. Then we're going to right click and save it. I'm going to put Jada Adrena Bleed. There we go. And one of the reasons why I name it that way is because, like, sometimes if I forget her name or something, all I have to do is just type in a search option, which I'm going to show you now. So we've already saved that. Go to cancel this cut. Yes, we want to cancel it. And we're going to delete this because we no longer need it. So upload, browse. So all I will have to do is type bleed, and it will show me all of the bleeds that I've done. Let me see, that's Trinity Data. We want that one. Click simple again. And now we want to erase the box around the name. Click your eraser. And again, this is just one of the ways that I've used it. A lot of people use different softwares or whatnot, but I'm a very big fan of saying, hey, I want you to learn everything you can about your design software. This may be easier for some. It may not be easy, easy for all, but just be aware that there are more ways, <laughs> what they say, to skin a cat, I guess, for lack of better analogy. So we're not going to use this one. We're going to go here, and I have it saved as Jada Adrena Split. Um, bleed. Let's see. And then we go here. I'm going to add it to my mat. Arrange this. Bring it to the front. Slide that out of the way. And then I'm going to pull my my bleed out like this. And then I'm going to size it how I want it. That looks really good. Okay. Now, once you have it like that, of course, again, you go to make. It's going to give you two mats. It's going to give you your bleed mat cut, and then it's going to give you the regular one. So, we've done two fonts in almost 10 minutes. I hope I didn't take too much of your time. And that's Jada, and this is my name. So, this technique works with just about any font. Some look better than others, but to kind of give you a visual of how the curly font looks along with like a box type font and that actually looks good like that like my daughter's name is not her middle name is not Nicole but I actually like that that would be something that I would love to put onto a t-shirt and if that's the case <laughs> here we go with the nuggets what I would do is I would hide the original cuts and the shadows and I will actually 
attach them together. You don't necessarily have to weld them, but most people will recommend that you weld. So if I want to put Jade and Nicole like that, I would just go ahead and weld it. And then I'll select those names again. I'm going to send this to the back because it's the shadow. Move to the back. And then we just piece it together like this. How about that? A tutorial within the tutorial. <laughs> so that is how you create a bleed and offset or a shadow for your fonts. And if you go to make it, it's actually going to show you your cut right here. And then, I'm sorry, yeah, your bleed cut here. And then your separate mats. Okay? So I hope that this tutorial was useful to you guys. I hope I didn't talk too fast. <laughs> I hope that you can take it and run with it, continue to grow, continue to share what you know, and enjoy the tutorial, and happy creating.